Welcome to Tim's Lico Challenge. This problem is called Valid Palindrome 2. Given a string s, return true if this s can be a palindrome after deleting at most one character from it. Now palindrome, we know something is a palindrome if it is the same forwards and backwards. With val Valid Palindrome 1, what we would do is start with a left and right pointer, and we would just move inwards and check every single character. If all the characters are equal to one another, and then we've reached the middle, that means it's a palindrome. But this question here says we can delete one character. We don't have to, but we could. So how would we approach that? Now, I see that this is put as an easy problem, but I feel like it's more like a medium, but that could just be me being a little bitter for having some trouble with this. So let's just say uh, with our first approach, we would start with zero and length of uh, length of s minus one, and these are the left and right pointers, right? Usually with this question, we just say while left is less than right, we'll just check, look, if s of l does not equal s of r, then return a false. Otherwise, increase our l oops, and delete r or decrease our right. And if we come outside this loop, then we need to return a true because that means this is a palindrome, right? But this is valid, this is valid palindrome too. We can delete one character. So how would we do that? Well, uh, let's just say we had an example like this and let's put a bunch of A's in here. Um, well, okay, something like this. With this problem, we would first have a pointer starting here and another one starting at the right. And we check to see if they're equal to one another, right? And they are. So we would increase L and we decrease R. Now at this point though, we see they're not equal to one another, right? But we shouldn't return false immediately now because we know we can skip at least or delete one character here. But the problem is which one should we delete? Should we delete this one or this one? Now, Obviously, just looking at this, we can see, well, we're going to delete B, obviously, because that's the only one. We, like, if we move, we move this one, then this would still not be equal to one another, so we return to false. Um, but there's no actual real way to decide, because it is possible that we would go one direction, and down the line, as we move inward and inward, we should have actually gone the other direction. So the only safe way to check is actually to go both ways. So what we'll do is actually just do this same two-pointer solution, but again, one, one more time in the middle here. Um, instead of returning false immediately, we're going to set two extra pointers here. We're going to say L2 and uh, R2, as well as L3 and R3. Oops. And these will be whatever L and R are at the moment. And we're going to go both ways here. Okay, This is actually going to be L2 since we're going to be skipping one, we'll increase our L1 like this. And with the second one here, R3, we're going to decrease R by one like this. Okay, now let's say, all right, while L2 is less than R2, same thing. If S of L2 does not equal S of R2, then we should return a false. But we shouldn't return a false immediately because we want to go the other direction as well. So I'm just going to set some booleans here. I'll say, mm, first try and second try, and these will, I guess, start with true. And if first try, this doesn't work, then we can say, okay, this is gonna be false and break out of our loop immediately. Uh, otherwise, we'll say, well, we don't do anything. We'll, we'll try the other way. We'll say L3 less than R3. If S of L3 does not equal S of R3, then our second try didn't work break and we will say look if first or second are true because if both of these didn't work then they should have both got set to false we'll return true otherwise i guess else return false because we couldn't do it now if we didn't enter this at all we just kind of came out of this loop and just returned true that means we didn't have to delete anything right so that'd be fine. Now let's just try an example here, A, B, C, D. Uh, both of these should be true. Oh, oh, 
not A, B, C, D, A, B, C, A. All right, so let's go ahead and submit that. Hmm. I don't know why that's taking so long. Uh-oh, uh, what do I do here? Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, obviously I have to increase L2 plus equal 1 and decrease R2 minus equal 1. Uh, same thing here. L3 plus equal 1, R3 minus equal 1. Huh, so, hmm, how did that even work? I guess it was just because it was very small. Let's go and try that again. And there we go. So accepted. This is a O of N solution. Now, I realize uh, it's kind of messy, but hopefully I did it this way because I think it's easier to understand. Uh, you could kind of change this coding to use splices instead to make it look cleaner, but uh, I want to go with this route just because it's like more understandable to me. And that's it. All right. So thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.